We got square bill in his mouth. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is a good one. That's what it's all about, guys. That's what it's all about. Oh! It just crapped all over me. Like, literally. Fish just, like, pooped on me. Lunatics, welcome back to the channel. We're starting off the day with some buzz baits. Just getting them rigged up right now, and I'm hoping that uh, we can get a couple top water fish before the sun gets high, because that's usually when the top water bite dies here, is once that sun gets hot, high. But uh, hopefully we can get a couple buzz bait fish, because buzz baits are super fun. Made these up myself, along with these berry bugs, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get a couple fish this morning. Just got blown up on. Man, I hope you guys saw that on the camera. That thing just smoked it, but just totally missed it. I don't understand how you go after it that hard and still miss the bait. Absolutely crazy to me, but it is what it is, I suppose. There's one. There's a fish. Oh, it's a good one too. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Buzz bait fish. So rad. Buzz baits are so fun to catch fish on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Heck yeah. Little chunker, little chunker. So guys, what I've been doing this morning is just going to all these different spots, just fishing them real fast with this buzz bait, just making sure I cover, you know, all the important stuff and then moving on to the next one. Cause I want to take advantage of this morning bite as best as possible so i'm just trying to cover as much water as quickly as i can but but also making sure that i hit the high percentages high percentage spots on the areas that i'm going to so that's one thing that if you're trying to maximize your time you know especially for something like an early morning bite or something like that you definitely want to hit those spots and then move on to the next one as fast as you can so that we can get as much time with this bait in as much you know as many different places as possible one thing that's nice about a buzz bait guys is if you can see this ripple on the water right now even when you have a ripple like this you can still get away with throwing the buzz bait because it's causing so much commotion and everything that these fish will still come up they'll still come up and eat this thing and um, sometimes a little bit of a ripple like this is going to actually work to your advantage but uh because it's just breaking up that that light a little bit more and they're just kind of feeding off that sound it's making them mad they don't want that in their area and they come up and they eat this thing. <laughs> I got bit and I couldn't see the bite. The thing ate it though. <laughs> that was funny. I got bit, had no idea. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. All right guys, so you know I've been talking to you about the brand new water lens that came out, the Sobros and the Slaunches, and I told you I didn't know which ones I was gonna get. Well, I decided to get both of them. Um, I couldn't decide which ones I liked better, so I ended up getting a, a pair in both. I got one green lens, one blue lens, and uh, whatever one I like better, I'm gonna wear more often. I'm gonna have both of them, so it just depends on what looks best, and uh, that's, what I'm gonna that's what I decided to do. So make sure to head over to Waterland and check out all the different sunglasses that they have, the different frame styles, the different lens colors. Um, they're gonna help you catch more fish, and you guys hear me talk about it all the time. They're gonna help you see into the water. You're gonna be able to see the grass lines, the brush, the underwater rocks, all that kind of stuff. It's gonna help you catch more fish, and you're gonna look good doing it, doing it which is a plus always. So 
head over to waterlandco.com, use my discount code LUNA10, and you're gonna save money off the sunglasses, and I think they have free shipping over 50 bucks, so if you get some shirts or something too, if you already have a pair of glasses, 50 bucks or more, I believe you get free shipping. The website says it for sure, but I know that if you um, use my discount code, you're gonna save some money. So waterlandco.com, use my discount code LUNA10, and then these right now I'm wearing are the Assures, and I'll link the Assures and the Hybros, which are the ones that you guys have seen me wear in the past, I'm gonna link those down in the description of today's video. So to make sure to go to waterlandco.com, use my code LUNA10. So that last fish, guys, I casted, and I couldn't see my bait, and I ended up getting bit and had no idea. I ended up coming around this little, little rock that's sitting right up in front of me right now, and I saw the fish jump out of the water, and that's how I knew that I had a fish on. <laughs> I had no idea. Never really got a hook set on it or anything like that, so that was a little bit of a bummer. But one thing's for sure, there's a little buzz bait bite going on in the morning with this white buzz bait, and uh, it's pretty fun, that's for sure. So. We're gonna keep fishing this as long as we can just because it's fun. I think there's other stuff that I could be doing to catch more fish, but it's definitely fun when you can throw a topwater bait like this and, and catch some fish here and there. There's one. There's another one. Stay on. Damn, this guy's pissed. There we go. There we go. Not a very big one, but got another one on the buzzy. <laughs> Little guy, but fun. Just bringing this thing right across the edge of the cover, right along the bank as, much, as best as I can. These fish are blowing up on these up shallow and uh, just trying to bring that buzz bait as close as I can to it and uh, they're eating it. Pretty fun. I'm gonna have to waypoint that barbecue over there. You never know you need that spot. Catch fish off the barbecue. Little one, little fish, little one. Oh, it's peeing. Little guy. Well, guys, I'd have to say the buzz bait bite is pretty good this morning, which is always fun. It's always the best to catch fish on top water. These fish are chasing bait right up on the rocks. You, you gotta really try to get super close to the bank in order to get them to eat it. And it looks like they're just pinning the bait right up against the rocks and stuff. And uh, I think that's what you gotta do. You gotta let them pin this thing somewhere. So getting it as close to the cover and even banging into it sometimes is, is what you need to do. But it's been fun so far. We just need Gigantor to come eat this thing. There's big fish biting at this lake right now for sure. It took 30 pounds a couple weeks ago to win a team tournament out here. So there's definitely some bigs eating. Um, we just got to see if the old buzzard is going to get it done or not. It's definitely catching fish, but let's catch like an eight on it or something like that. That'd be pretty rad. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Well, that right there is what these fish are eating. <laughs> That's so crazy. Check that out. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. I just got blown up on and uh, brought this thing back in. I got this shad just chilling on there. What's up, dude? <laughs> ah. 
Little guy on the square bill. Little guy on the square bill. Hooked them good. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for like the grandma of this guy. We're looking for the grandma. I think it just crapped all over me. Like literally, this fish just like pooped on me. Which is gross. It's on my pants. It's on my hand. Fish poop. Gross. Guys, I literally just got pooped on <laughs> by a fish. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I need to get revenge or something off the fish that pooped on me. It was a little fish too, which is, if you're gonna get crapped on by a fish, it might as well be a big one, I think. But, been a fun morning, that's for sure. Been a fun morning. There's one, there's one, there we go, square bill fish, another one on the square bill, this guy's mad, don't poop on me though, just don't poop on me this time, don't poop on me, and don't hook me either, oh, come on, Come on, there we go. There we go. All right, guys, little one, but still pretty fun, guys. Square bill. Well, guys, I switched over to the square bill because they're chasing bait real good. And when I got that one on that one little shad on the actual buzz bait it just looked way slimmer had that sheen to it and i knew that i had a square bill tied up already that i thought mimicked that a little bit better so i figured i'd switch over and see what happens and I'm not catching the quality that i'd like to see in this spot but there's just fish here so maybe just you know working this little rock edge right here back and forth might you know produce some bites which it has and uh hopefully one of these ones will end up being a being a big one but we'll we'll see and that sun's coming up so that top water deal might be slowing down anyway so it might be a good idea just to get something a little bit subsurface um and then figure out what's going to happen when the sun gets high There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we don't go. <laughs> there we do not go. This shouldn't even, does this even count? I don't know if this even counts, but he got hooked like crazy. Hooked like crazy. In terms of bites, I think switching over to that square bill was the right deal. But in terms of actually catching something, you know, good, not so much. Something that I just noticed, I actually noticed on the fish before, that tiny one, is I was reeling it a little bit faster than I was before. And I don't know if that's made a difference. I'm gonna try it a little bit here and there. Just see if reeling it a little bit faster makes a difference and maybe produces a little bit better. But when I went through here the first time, I was reeling it slow like I normally would. And then I felt like reeling it a little bit faster is what got that last one to bite. And then I did it again, and then I caught that little one. So hopefully that's part of what my, my problem's been with not getting these fish to bite on the square bills. I just haven't been reeling it fast enough because these fish are chasing down all these shad. Obviously they're not trying to, they're not just standing still waiting to get eaten. So you gotta mimic what these fish are trying to do. So hopefully 
you know, speeding up that retrieve a little bit, maybe getting it real erratic, we'll uh, get one of these big ones to bite. There's one. There's one. This one feels better. Ah, it's not a giant, but it, it's better. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Can't complain about that guy. Right along those rocks. They're just pinning these shad right up along the rocks, man. And if you can get that angle just right, you're going to catch them. There's one. There we go. Stay on there. Stay on. Get in the boat. There we go. Yes. That's a good one. That's a good one. Stay on there. Look at that. Look at that square bill in his mouth. Check that out. Boom. That's a grown one. That's a good one. <laughs> this is fun. This is so fun, guys. So fun. We don't have days like this out here very often. Usually we're grinding them out. Finessing them. Fishing deep. But right now, we're getting to do the fun stuff. Top water. Crankbaits. Fun stuff. Not bad. There's one. There's one. Another one on the buzz bait. There's one. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this fish. Look at this fish, guys. Holy cow. Look at that buzzbait fish, guys. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Right there in his mouth. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Angles. It's all about angles. Getting this thing as close as you can to the cover. They just pin it up against the bank. It's what it's all about, guys. It's what it's all about. <laughs> Well guys, pretty epic day out here on the lake. I mean, this has just been a few hours of fishing. Top water fish, crankbait fish, you know, that big one on that buzz bait was really rad. Um, I didn't expect that in that area, but that was pretty cool. I was just bringing that thing right along the edge of the, of the, the bank and um, that thing just came up and just smoked it and um, got it in. I probably shouldn't have boat flipped it to be honest with you. I should have probably lipped it, but it is what it is. We got them in there. And um, the setup for the buzz bait today was the 7-4 unicorn rod, 7-3 to 1 gear ratio, Daiwa Tatula SV with 15 pound fluorocarbon. Um, the fluorocarbon I really actually like on that buzz bait. And if you've noticed me fishing and I got that rod tip up in the air and um, it keeps that fluorocarbon out of the water so you don't have to worry about sinking. I like it better than braid unless you're fishing around grass or something then you might want to go with that braid but when I'm fishing mainly around rocks and brush and stuff like that that fluorocarbon actually works really really well. It gives you a little bit of stretch which is good when you have um, a top water bite because a lot of times you can set the hook too fast and pull that bait away from the fish but um, with that fluorocarbon, you're gonna have that little bit of a delay, it's gonna have a little bit of a stretch in it, and it's gonna help you get better hook sets and to help you keep those fish pinned. Um, so use those tips that you noticed today, it's all about the angles. If you saw me setting up, get boat position, all that kind of stuff, it's all about those angles. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it in a Tackle Tip Tuesday. The Tackle Tip Tuesday might come out before this, but if you haven't watched the Tackle Tip Tuesday where I talk about the um, the angles and stuff make sure to go back and watch that video but i hope you guys enjoyed and uh, please like today's video and make sure to share it with your friends and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe